So by this time, I hope everyone's on their plan to get out of debt. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I put a series of four videos out to talk you step by step on how we paid over $100,000 in debt. Uh, the red background videos are updated for your convenience, so I highly recommend going to watch those. Today, I'm talking about staying focused. Uh, very important. I, anytime I can you know, think of something that helped us along the way, I'm going to put out a video for you guys to make sure that it's going to help you guys as well. Uh, as simple as hanging inspirational quotes by the front door, whatever it is that you guys have to do to stay on path, you need to do it. Welcome to Step 1 Finance, everyone. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, if you could do that, hit that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. And guys, thumbs up if you like the content. Leave comments below. Give me some feedback on my channel if this is helping you guys. Uh, you know, I, I would love to do whatever I can to, guys, to get you through your progress. Uh, first thing is positive people. Uh, surround yourself with people that are doing the same thing you're doing. No matter what it is, uh, they're the, going to be your biggest uh, cheerleaders. Uh, there's so much negativity in this world, so much negative people in this world. Uh, I personally witnessed it firsthand whenever we were uh, at the beginning stages of getting out of debt. And, you know, you want to talk about it because you're excited and people just shut you down. Uh, you know, hey, you want to go somewhere? No, we're on a budget, you know, and they look at you stupid and they got some, you know, bad things to say. I don't care. Guys, I didn't care what anyone thought. And I'll tell you what, it was worth every every moment because where we're at right now, I'm telling you when you get a financial piece, you are gonna be so happy that you did everything that you did to get here. Because I'll tell you what, we live way too long of being in debt. It's time to get out of debt. Plan ahead. Uh, one thing I did is like, uh, you know, always plan, I plan ahead for everything. You know, like I said in those videos, if you're budgeting on the 15th of the month, you want to start planning ahead for your next budget. Uh, guys, as easy as, uh, you know, giving yourself incentives and goals to reach too. So if you're paying $1,000 off a month per debt for the first four months, you know, maybe the next four months, try to hit $7,000. You know, give yourself some type of incentive planning ahead. Uh, always plan ahead to see where you could be in the future. It's just going to excite you to keep working hard and keep doing what you're doing. A whiteboard. I talk about whiteboards all the time. Great thing to hang on the on the wall. Put inspirational quotes up. Uh, you pay off your first debt, write it real big on there. Credit card paid off. Put the amount up there and put a big red X through it. Get excited about the stuff. I'll tell you what, walking around the house after your first debt, seeing a whiteboard up there with what you paid off, uh, that's going to be motivation. I'll tell you that right now. Do it. YouTube. Uh, guys, instead of watching people get jacked up on skateboards all the time, put your time, you know, make your time useful on YouTube. Videos like this, other videos like people like me who got out of debt, they're excited to help you do it too. You know, there's so many good YouTube channels out there. I love watching these people. Uh, they still inspire me now. And we're, you know, so far in the, our debt journey, you know, we just, you know, have such little things that we're paying off now, uh, the mortgage. So yeah, guys, I still watch them. I love watching inspirational things. And these people are inspirational, you know, uh, you know, uh, yeah, just do what you have to do. Follow whoever you have to follow. Uh, and inspirational uh, people, like watch inspirational videos. I, I love watching inspirational videos uh, that don't even have to deal with debt, you know, but uh, one quote that I love that I that now that's on the top of my head is from Dave Ramsey, and that is only you can change your family tree. Let that sink in. Only you can change your family tree. Guys, my parents paycheck to paycheck. Grandparents paycheck to paycheck. You know, we were paycheck to paycheck. Not anymore. Change your family tree. Make it different for your kids. Give your kids a different lifestyle. Educate them so that when they get older, get ready for college, job, they're ready to not be what we were, paycheck to paycheck. Uh, man, did that, that quote stuck in my head like crazy. I love that quote. Uh, another person 
that I watch and I'm gonna have in the description below a couple links to some of his videos is Les Brown. I love Les Brown. I have listened to his videos over 100 hours worth probably. Uh, just repeating a lot of his videos. Two of my favorite ones are down in the description below. Uh, guys, his one quote that he says in one of his videos, uh, if it's better to be prepared for an opportunity and not have one than to have an opportunity and not be prepared. I've been studying for over a year now on real estate, on uh, rental properties, uh, you know, because that's something that I'm passionate about doing in the future. And I'm not even, you know, I, I want to do it, but whenever that opportunity comes, I want to be ready. And that opportunity was here but with this virus going on. We just stepped back and said, you know what, we're, we're going to be patient about this. We're, we're just going to wait a little bit and we'll just keep saving money. Guys, I'm just constantly learning. You never know what the future is going to bring to you. You know, you never know if there's a job that you wanted in the future and you are probably like 30% chance that you're going to get it. Get ready for that job. Study for that job. Do whatever you have to do to be the person. Because if that opportunity comes in the future and you are not ready for it, you missed out on a, a golden opportunity. I love that quote. I love Les Brown. Please watch the uh, videos. Uh, very, very, very good. So yeah, guys, stop watching people get jacked up. Stop watching all these silly things on YouTube and make sure you're spending your time educating yourself. So that brings me over to family. Guys, family, you gotta make sure they stay on board. You guys are in this together, all right? It's not one and the other. You have to be in this together. Making sure you and your spouse, you know, it's very important. The kids, they pretty much don't have a choice, right? But you and your spouse gotta stay on board. You know, that's why I say like whiteboards and stuff like that, where you pay off that first debt. Once you see progress, I'm telling you, it gets a lot easier. Uh, and you know, you might uh, have a you know, rough time. Uh, you know, you're using your emergency fund money a lot. And you know, maybe one starts doubting it. You know, you know, this is, we're having a bad year. This isn't gonna work for us. Guys, keep plugging away. Cause I'm telling you every dollar you pay in debt is going to help you in the future. So even if you have a bad year, the next year is going to be so much better if you just keep plugging away. Uh, guys, like I said, this is a, a long, you know, it's a short process if you think about it because we've just been in debt for 20 years, 30 years. So if we can get out of debt in two, three years, honestly, it's a short process. That's why I say go for it hard and get it done, you know, and then when you're done, you know, you're right back to you know, not working all the overtime and stuff like that, you know, so stay focused, task at hand, get this debt paid off and be happy. Guys, read, run, do whatever you have to do to escape from all this too. It could be very overwhelming. You know, you don't have to read a book about, you know, budgeting and stuff like that all the time. Uh, I recommended in the blue series of videos that uh, I got that book, Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. And that helps you with everyday life things, how, how to, you know, just relax and and just not get over, you know, whelmed with things and, and get angry at every little thing. So uh, I still, you know, I'm a lot more patient person than I used to be, uh, you know, but and that comes with reading. Uh, guys, if you run, I used to be a runner. Uh, my legs aren't the greatest anymore, but I'll tell you what, running is an escape from the world. Uh, if you're a runner, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It is unbelievable. I mean, you can literally run five, seven miles and you'll be like, well, it's done already, you know, cause you literally just like zone out. It's, it's such a good feeling to run. I wish I could still do it. Uh, piano. I like to play piano. If you play an instrument, uh, like I said, anything to escape from, you know, just taking that debt off of your mind all the time and just relax for a little bit, do it. Uh, social media, uh, you know, guys, posting your uh, accomplishments on the front page of your Facebook uh, is probably not a good idea. I did it, and believe it or not, I get negative feedback. Uh, not so much on comments, but in reality. So when I run into these people that are friends on my Facebook page, uh, you know, I'm, I don't know what it is. People just, they don't want to hear your success. 
my suggestion, if you're on Facebook, join a page. I'm sure there's pages out there getting out of debt. Uh, those are going to be the people that are going to encourage you. And those are going to people are going to be the people that are going to be happy for you. Like I said about patience, be patient. It's not going to happen in six months. You know, it's going to take time depending on how much debt you have. Be patient. You might not be able to get that second job right away or pick up overtime, but maybe it'll come eight months down the line and you can start getting more income for the family. Be patient. All right. Learn patience. And guys, and the most important one, rest and sleep. Uh, you know, if you're working that second job, I worked a ton of overtime whenever we were getting, you know, at the beginning stages of this. I don't work anything now. I, I just work my 40 hour week. But, you know, rest and sleep. You don't want to pick up that second job an hour away and then be, you know, falling asleep on the way home. If you're picking up a second job, try to get one really close to home. Uh, so if you're working both in one day, you're a short drive home and you're not putting yourself at risk or anybody else at risk. Come home, get your rest. And I'll tell you what, that's the most important thing to make sure you're getting your rest and your peace of mind. So guys, don't overwhelm yourself with just that, 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 that. You got to take time for other stuff, take time for family, you know, just doing whatever, going outside, playing in the yard, peace of mind and sleep. So like I said, guys, uh, from here on out, after my series of four videos, I'm literally just anything I could do to help you with any process in your life, uh, you know, debt consolidations I'm going to be putting out home, refinancing, uh, you know, anything I could think of that I think is going to help you guys on your journey to get that free and save you money, I am going to do it on this channel. So please keep coming back, hit that notification bell. Uh, I am going to post as much useful information that we have learned over the past as much as possible. Remember guys, I'm not a financial advisor. This is all based on my opinion and our experiences and what we have learned over the years to get us to where we are right now. So until next time, I will see you then, you guys.